Roadblocks, walls, and barbed wire have been part of Nicosia for more than 48 years. The capital remains divided to this day, split into a Greek and a Turkish part, just like the rest of Cyprus. The Greek Cypriot Yorgos Spirou finds it difficult to accept the political deadlock and that there's no perspective of reunification. He looks over to the Turkish side. The retiree says the reconciliation should no longer be left to the politicians. I see and realize that if they let us on our own, I mean, citizens, uh, we could have had a great life together. Yorgo Spiru experiences just how great this could be in the bicommunal Choir for Peace Lena Melanidou. Greek and Turkish Cypriots sing together in the name of peace and reconciliation in this choir, where music surmounts political and linguistic borders. Mustafa Ersalta has been in the choir for a year and a half. The architect from the Turkish north meets his choral colleague Yorgos before the concert. The border can still only be crossed via checkpoints. Mustafa is used to this. He grew up with the division, just like his Turkish friends. And when I participate to the choir, uh, I tell them we are doing this and they are a bit surprised. Some think that you feel that you are doing something for your own country, for peace, for re reunification. It shows from the time they see us on stage with our white clothes like that, the color of a piece, and they cannot ever understand who is Greek and who is Turkish. Same habits, the same songs, the same attitude. So step by step, I think we're influencing everyone. Who is Turkish and who is Greek? None of that matters when the choir gets together, as can be seen at this peace concert in the Greek part of the capital. Proponents of reunification are now a minority in Cyprus, but the choir won't give up, and it's a full house at the auditorium. Before the concert, two survivors of the civil war in 1974 are honored, one Greek and one Turkish. Both survived massacres as children, Today, they both promote reconciliation. Together with the whole choir, Yorgos and Mustafa perform the song, Sorry. The Turkish choir members ask for forgiveness in Greek, and the Greek members do the same in Turkish. They understand that one requirement for reconciliation is recognizing the other side's suffering. We should have more and more like this, and this will bring closer people to each other, appreciating peace and togetherness. At the end of the concert, they sing the song, My Homeland Has Been Split In Two, Which of the Two Sides Shall I Love? Both is the answer given by Yorgos, Mustafa and the other singers in the Peace Choir of Cyprus.